scheinbar das ist vielleicht I thought that would be a decent speed, but mm -hmm. apparently too fast. A little bit too much. The mixed reality is something that we also used uh, in our uh, design process uh, uh, that gives us a possibility to simulate different situations. What we have here in the mixed reality for the CES is uh, first we give the possibility to drive the vision INX virtually and then you can experience uh, the situation of driving a car uh, autonomously driven. You can really explore all the possibility of the Vision INX in terms of connectivity, uh, connection to your uh, smart home. Uh, you can uh, also uh, be part of a, a video conference, for example, but you will be also able to really drive the car. <laughs> Please release the steering wheel now. Your business call starts shortly. I will activate the executive mode now and dial you in within 10 seconds. everybody, thank you for joining the meeting today. First, uh, I share my screen with you. There we go. Well, based on the discussion we had last week, um, I would like to discuss with you about the new uh, extra color for the uh, BMW Vision. 10 snack bags cost $11. Do you want me to order by fast delivery so that you will get your snacks on time? Okay. Your order will be delivered to your home in 20 minutes. Hey, there's somebody at your front door.
Hi there, we got here a little bit early. Could you let us in already? Do you want me to open the door lock? Yeah, the shy technology is, in fact, uh, the next big evolution of the interaction with an interface. Uh, it's an interface that you can uh, feel, and not only because there is an haptic feedback inside, but simply because we can integrate the shy technology into a wood or into a furniture that give us also the possibility to reduce the number of switches we have inside the car. And perhaps one of the most important thing is that uh, the user can decide how you want to interact with the user interface. So a really simple example here is uh, with a music player. So I can draw a note on the surface of my seat uh, and the music starts. Bitte. Then I can adjust the volume with two finger. I can change the music and can uh, stop the system with three finger, but I decide where I want to interact with the car. So the, the BMW uh, systems are multimodal. That means that you can interact with the car uh, with a speak interaction or on the steering wheel or remotely uh, on an iDrive. With the ShyTech, we simply want to, to give the possibility uh, to the user uh, to have a new, a new interaction uh, but we don't want to reduce or to replace all the other system. It's simply a new art of interaction with the car that we want to propose with the other interaction we have already in, inside the BMW cars. Yes, yeah, the shy technology gives us the possibility to hide a little bit the user interface and that gives us at the same time the possibility to completely new redesign the entire of our car. Uh, and the Vision I next uh, we called uh, my favorite space. It's a complete new idea of designing an interior of the car.
Motor Rider is showcasing a self-riding motorcycle, which uh, really helps us accentuate some, some technologies which we think apply very well to the motorcycle industry, uh, but then also help us improve rider safety, uh, riding dynamics of our products as well. The motorcycle uses all rider type input, so there's no gyroscopic uh, technology that's in play here. Uh, the bike completely is using things that a rider would use, braking technology or braking, turning, and uh, those are all things that I think are, are really cool about the product, that it's, using, it's using those types of inputs. A self-riding motorcycle helps us showcase certainly some, some technologies that are maybe slightly farther out. You know, we're always looking at innovations, technologies, BMW Motorrad has always been a leader in that regard. And so now we're looking at how do we, how do we look a little bit farther out. And, uh, and that's the purpose of this motorcycle is to, to sh showcase some of those capabilities. This definitely is, can, can ride uh, on its own. We definitely don't advise it's something that we actually have out in traffic. So what you would un probably understand when you start looking at a, a self-riding bike, uh, it'll certainly take our inputs. Uh, it can operate you know, as, as defined on its own, but when you start taking external impacts or, or factors like traffic, uh, street lights, things like that, or uh, uh, traffic lights, it's not something that it's, it's at that stage yet. BMW, who are you? I am your personal assistant. If you want to set up a personal activation word for me, say, for example, set activation word dot, you can also change the length of my answers in this menu. So he helps me to get to know him, but what I can do to make it really personal, I can even give it its own name. So I can just say, hello BMW change your name please tell me the activation word that you want to use to start voice control in the future charlie i've saved my personal activation word so perfect from now on we can call our assistant charlie charlie can also orchestrate car functions for you so for example when i'm as a driver feel completely stressed i can say charlie I feel stressed. No problem. I have activated the relaxation program. So what happens? The shades close, so I have a cocooning feeling in the car. I have relaxing music playing to calm me down. The interior lighting is changing to a soft, warm red color. And I, as a driver, get a massage on my seat and the seat heating is set to level two. The program goes on for three minutes. After that, it ends automatically. And if I say, and if I say, Charlie, I am bored. I can't imagine that. Maybe you didn't get a chance to try out sport mode. We believe that consumers must have the choice uh, in interacting with the car, in operating the car. There's different means of interaction. In the past, it was mainly the iDrive controller, then touchscreen, gesture control. And now we believe uh, voice is really taking over to directly engage customers in a totally new way with digital experiences. So you can experience uh, the intelligent personal assistant from BMW at our booth uh, in Las Vegas. Um, there's a mixed reality uh, implementation, which is pretty cool. Plus, you have a real uh, live demo um, in our uh, cars, which are present at the booth. Um, on top of that, um, there is an opportunity for uh, customers to go to the Amazon booth where you see the first real deep integration of Amazon Alexa in a BMW car with voice and visual feedback. 
We believe we need to have our own uh, intelligent personal assistant technology in order to operate the car. This is a BMW brand specific and uh, we are basically tackling all um, car related domains with our personal assistant. On top of that we are uh, giving customers the uh, ability to access other third party ecosystems like for example through the integration of Amazon Alexa where you can access media content, um, where you can access commerce content and other, other experiences. We see that more and more IoT devices like the car are coming online. Um, in the past it was only the smartphone or the web access. Now the car becomes a real major object of the digital life of our customers, which means we need to integrate the car into the digital um, uh, life of our customers in a totally different way, seamless, very natural, and the customer can access through the car digital content as another touch point.